Well, good morning, good afternoon, I don't know. Hey, welcome to the Pretty Cool Vlog where we show you things that we think are pretty cool. We're back out here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Mingus Mill. You ever heard of Mingus Mill? That's a mill. It's along uh, the uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park Parkway, like 441 on the North Carolina side. It's a cool little old mill in the woods. It's kind of neat, nice little trail. We're gonna go check it out. We just came up in the parking area up there, down this little trail, over to this water. Water's flowing pretty good because it has rained a little bit in the past couple of days. That's always nice to have, have the, the water is kind of rushing through. It's always a neat sound and it, it looks neat. Going right over it. Got this nice bridge. Looks like it's made recently. Probably had one here before, but they remade it. Sturdied it up a little bit. But uh, in any case, check that out. Man, so pretty. But anyways, uh, I'm just gonna continue. Ooh, look there. Right up the way, there's the mill. Mingus Mill. Now usually, Mingus Mill is open, so you can go inside, because it's actually like a, a working grist mill, which is pretty neat. You can actually buy like cornmeal and stuff in there. Pretty sure, if I remember right. But it, it's closed right now because of the crazy coronavirus. It's insane, it's closing everything. Kind of one of the reasons why we're out here kind of in you know, somewhat nature, so we can kind of keep our distance from people, so we're not spreading anything, or we don't get anything spread to us. Um, you know, just doing our part, you know? You just don't know. So just err on the side of caution. But in any case, uh, it's still cool to come visit out here, and just get outside and do a little something different. But like I said, it is closed right now, so you cannot go inside, and you cannot buy any of that fresh, fresh, fresh ground, cornmeal, make some grits and stuff. Anyways, there's more stuff to look at. Now you can see where the water comes from for the, the grist mill. They have it kind of directed in this little channel here. It's kind of neat. It comes from, I don't know, somewhere down that direction. We're going to go take a look, but you can see there's water in there moving, moving pretty good. Pretty swift moving water. Yep. It's really moving in there. Well, we're walking down the old stream here. Don't really know where it's coming from. I mean, there's another kind of little stream river thing over on that side, so maybe it's connected to this. They just kind of veered off from the... Oh, yep, that's what happened. We made it. They probably could have made the mill right on the creek if they wanted to instead of doing all this extra work. But I'm sure there was some sort of purpose to it, but... Oh, so they can like... Okay, I see what they did. So what they've done here is they've actually made a little contraption where they can control the flow coming into the to the grist mill channel right here. But uh, here's the here's the river flowing pretty good. There's a little dam right there. I wonder if that's made by beavers or people. But how about that? Nice little peaceful area back here. But anyways, now we know where the water's coming from. Let's go back to the grist mill and see what else there is to explore. Walking along back towards the grist mill, JR noticed a little side, well side jet, a little trail here off to the side through the trees here. Let's see where this goes. Where's this gonna take us? Whew. Well, that takes us over by a little closer to the to the natural stream. How about that? Look at that. That is beautiful. It's so peaceful. It's crazy. I don't even understand. Whew. Back on the old trail here, heading back up towards the, the grist mill. You know what's fun to say? Grist mill. I'll say it again. Grist mill. All right, so we just came down that short trek down the trail, following the stream, man-made, I think, pretty sure. Back up to the grist mill.
One other neat thing you can do around here is you come down carefully to the underside of the little channel canal thing they made. But be careful, it, it's, it's definitely dripping. There are some drips here and there. And it can be very slippery on the rocks and whatnot. Ugh. Ooh, you know, one other cool thing you can do here, not only can you normally go up into the top, but you can go underneath too, you know, for a little different perspective. So let's do that. Carefully, carefully walking. Man, look at that waterfall over there. That water is definitely falling. All right, let's go up underneath. See if there's any trolls under here. Probably not, hopefully not. That would be scary. Ooh, so this is what it's like under here. Wow. So this is this is what holds this building up is just some just some sticks, pretty hefty sticks, timbers, and some precariously stacked rocks. Wow. That's what the heck? Yeah. So it's like here at the grist mill up underneath. Man, look. Nature. Huh. Well, there's the grist mill, what we can see of it now. But as for going inside, we'll have to save that for another time. Well guys, that's that's pretty much it for the uh, Mingus Mingus Mill. The grist mill up on the old 441 Smoky Mountain Parkway here in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Hope you enjoyed this quick little, you know, video, just a little something to show you what's going on around in the world. Even though there's craziness happening, who knows when I'll get this video up. Everything might be fine and dandy by then, but in any case, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this little, little trek out in the woods for a little adventure. We'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yeah. That's pretty cool. Fresh.